tonight, I want to take you on a journey. A journey into the world of metrics and how they can empower you in your everyday life. But before we get into that, I want to introduce myself a little bit. Before anybody makes any jokes, yes, that is me in all three pictures. On the far left, I look completely different than I do on the other two pictures, and I will not tell you the metrics of how much of a weight change that is. But let me start with the middle picture. So as Derek said earlier, my name is Terry Willis, and I'm a system engineer at AT&T. I started as part of the technology development program that Katie spoke about earlier back in 2015. During my time in this program, I got to hold different positions. I was a project coordinator, project manager, software engineer, and now a system engineer. So in my day-to-day -day duties, I'm responsible for looking at our generative AI platforms and providing metrics and reports out to leadership on how we're performing for our internal clients. But before I started at AT&T, I served in the military for 12 years. This is me in 2010 as I just exited basic training. I didn't have perspective of a lot of big world ideas, still trying to figure out life, but the military gave me an opportunity to see different perspectives as John talked about. I had the opportunity to travel to different countries, had the opportunity to meet a lot of people in different cultures, and it helped me to not just enhance my leadership skills, but also my technical and analytical skills. So now let's jump back forward. Picture on the bottom right here is a picture of me and one of my close friends. Back in 2021, in the height of COVID, he had the bright idea of, you know what? Let's start a food truck. In this picture, you can see us serving food actually in one of our AT&T buildings for some of our leaders and team. Before we jump into the meat and potatoes of tonight, I wanna do a little social experiment and have a little poll, have a little fun, as Reem said. Who here believes that the concept of metrics and the concept of data analytics is something that must be taught to you? Let's see, raise your hands. I wanna see who thinks that, okay? Who believes that the concept of data analytics and metrics are an innate ability that we all are born with? Okay, let's dive in and see. According to Google, the definition of metrics is a set of figures or statistics that measure results. But what does that mean? I think a better definition would be a set of figures or statistics that help to track progress towards a specific goal or objectives. You can almost think of metrics as like the breadcrumbs of one's journey. Now that we have a little perspective of what metrics are and a little bit of definition, I have a couple examples I wanna take you through. And with the first one is, how many followers do I have? I'm sure everybody in here can recognize that this is probably somebody on a social media app either liking something or agreeing with a comment. Whether you have Instagram, Facebook, and don't raise your hand and date yourself, but some of us probably had MySpace. But these hearts and these thumbs up are more than just icons. They show your influence and your impact in a digital sphere. Every day you're engaging with metrics subconsciously and you don't even pay attention to it. Analytics for social media companies are the bread and butter of what helps them advertise on it and helps influencers make money. But it's not in just the virtual realm that metrics hold weight. Pizza, anyone? I know when I'm trying to figure out what I wanna eat, and I go out and eat with a lot of friends often, but imagine if someone comes out and say, hey, let's go grab pizza. Personally, I would choose sushi, but that's just me. No need to debate. What do you do? First thing you do, you present your case. Then you appease to the taste buds of everyone, and then you measure your success on the amount of nods and smiles that you get. That, my friends, is the power of persuasion by way of using subtle human interaction metrics trying to get to a destination or planning a trip. Now, as Derek said, I am a Metro Atlanta native. But if you've lived here your entire life or you visited here for more than 24 hours, you know that Atlanta traffic and Georgia weather is extremely unpredictable. Whether you leave at 7.30 to try to get somewhere in 30 minutes or you leave at 7.32 and you end up getting there an hour later. By looking at these different analytics, you, can, you, you, you are extracting information that you've already looked at before. 
For example, raise your hand if you used Google Maps, Apple Maps, or Waze to get here tonight. OK? Raise your hand again if on the way here, you looked at that map multiple times to make sure that you were still on the same path. What this means is you're already doing these natural things every day in your life, whether you're trying to get to class, whether you're trying to get to work, whether you're trying to get to gym on time. You're naturally analyzing and using the power of metrics to help you propel. But you're probably asking me, what does this have to do with my career? Why are we talking about this? And it's a great question. Metrics are a way to help provide evidence to a case, so to speak. I'll give you an example. Whether you're vying for a promotion or you're presenting a groundbreaking idea to your boss, metrics help to carve out a path and show where you're headed in your trajectory. So remember when I was talking about my stint in the military and I told you a little bit about that? So it wasn't just about fixing the telephone, seeing how many trouble tickets we had, building a complex network. It was about fostering relationships, building camaraderie, and most importantly, building long-lasting friendships. And I bring that up to say, you know, whether you're in the tech industry like me or whether you're in another department, use metrics to connect with people on a day-to-day -day basis. It helps to add substance to some of, the, some of the things that you'll experience. And while we're talking about tech industry, let's go to the next slide and provide some quick metrics. Now, Reem stole my thunder a little bit, but it's OK. She already provided some, some metrics on AT&T, but Georgia Tech is constantly ranked as one of the leading schools for engineering. With over a billion dollars in research expenditures, the faculty, the staff, and all of the students are remarkable in their groundbreaking work in innovation. But we can't mention innovation without talking about AT&T as well. We have over 240,000 employees and have an annual revenue of around $120.7 billion. What do both of these have in common? Their success is regarded for their determination, their consistency, and of course their use of metrics. So as I leave you here today, I hope I've changed your perspective on metrics, that they're not just numbers on a graph, they're not just a report, they're not just a spreadsheet, that they're actually the inner workings and inner fabrics that make up our everyday life to help us propel further. So in conclusion, continue to be bold, continue to strive, and most importantly, let metrics be the breadcrumbs for your journey.